Hello, my name is Graham Culver. I was pastor of Grimsby Baptist Church for about eight years, and now I'm pastor of Farnham Baptist Church. And I want to share some thoughts on Psalm 118. Back in the first couple of weeks of lockdown, I was reading through Hebrews, and it was a time of uncertainty, of challenges for me and ministry and for the life of the church that I serve. I was particularly struck by some words from Psalm 118 that the author of Hebrews reminded his readers of and applied to their situation. So let me just read to you the opening words of Psalm 118. This is verses 1 through to verse 9. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The theme of Psalm 118 is not really that difficult to spot. If we join in and sing or pray these words, then we are being reminded to rejoice that our God is a God of steadfast love. Now, I want to reflect for a moment on verse 6 in particular. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? This is the verse that the author of Hebrews reminds his readers of when he says in chapter 13 and verses 5 and 6, he says, keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? There are hints that the writer of, to Hebrews readers are, are going through challenging times. Just two verses before, he's encouraged them to remember church members who are in prison and those who are being mistreated. So it looks as though they're going through challenging times where being faithful to Jesus might have brought about economic challenges. And he says to his readers, you have to remember Psalm 118 and verse 6. If you love money in these challenging times, you might buckle. So be content. And contentment comes from trusting that the Lord is your helper, that he is with you. You're not alone, so you need not fear. And no one and nothing can take that away from you. Friends, as Christians, as we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? We can confidently say that the Lord is our helper in the challenges that we face in these days. We can confidently say that the Lord is our helper in our Christian duties, our helper in our service, our helper in our witness and our helper in our obedience. He's our helper in loving one another and our helper in being content as we're called to be content in Hebrews 13. Let's take a moment, shall we, to thank God together that we can confidently know that he is our helper. Let's pray. Our Father God, we want to thank you that because of Jesus and through Jesus, we're able to join in with the confidence as expressed there in those verses in Hebrews chapter 13, that we are able to confidently say, the Lord is our helper. What can anyone do to us? We thank you for that. And we pray that that would be a great encouragement to us and help us to rejoice in these days. We ask it in Jesus' name.